Hello everyone. Uh, as I announced the last time, uh, today I'm going to explain about the shape twinning. Uh, five different basic skills. Shape to shape, shape to letter, line shape twinning, color shape twinning, and masking. So let's get started. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, create new file. And then we're going to choose the same format. So um, the web category, low profile, 640 by 480 pixel, and then a 24 frames per second frame rate and HTML5 canvas. So create it. Okay. Okay, so first, shape to shape, uh, shape twinning. So I'm going to draw. Um, blue and no stroke color um, just square in the middle okay uh, the basic concept of this shape twinning is uh, unlike motion twin or classic twin uh, motion twinning uh, uh, it happens between one object so um changing the location, angle, size, and then um, color information, that type of things. Uh, shape twinning is happening between two different objects. So um, like square and circle, circle and triangle, triangle and the star, that was something like that. So let's do this. So first I have this blue square, and on one second mark, I'm going to need to have insert timeline and blank keyframe so this blank keyframe option will prepare the uh, the totally new empty frame cell okay and then in here let me choose oval tool i'm going to change the color to red no yellow 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 so let me draw this time a circle somewhere in the middle. Okay, so I have a blue square and then a yellow circle. Shape tuning is very simple and easy. Just to select, highlight any frame in between first and the frame number 24 the, between the departure and the destination. Anywhere is fine, just to highlight it. Go to insert menu and shape twin. That's it. Isn't it simple? So um, it is morphing the shape from square to circle. Also, it blends the color from blue to yellow. We can keep adding on and on. So uh, on two second mark, uh, frame 48, let me insert another blank keyframe. This time I'm going to draw um, triangle. So choose the polygon style tool and number of sides three, meaning it will be a uh, triangle. And let me change my fill color to red. And I'm going to place it somewhere in the middle. As we did, exactly the same way, choose any frame between yellow circle and then on this red square, I mean a red triangle. Uh, insert timeline and no I'm sorry insert and shape twin rewind play is it nice yeah we can keep adding on and on uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go back to the uh, this blue square so let me copy this command C and then this time uh, on three second mark frame number 72 let me insert another blank keyframe i'm going to paste that blue square i just copied on the same spot so i'll paste in place and highlight the any frame in between this red triangle and blue square and insert shape twin that's it. Isn't it cool? 
Okay, so that's the one. And the next. Now shape to letter. I'm going to draw uh, one rectangle. Maybe um, yeah, blue is okay. Something like this. Or let me draw a blue square. On one second mark, frame number 24, let me insert blank keyframe. I'm going to type simple letter like letter T, uppercase letter T. Um, and also, um, I'm going to modify and break apart because this shape tuning is happening only between the shape, not between the shape and the letter. So break apart. Okay, I'm going to make it bigger. Okay, uh, if I want, I can change the color to red. So uh, between the blue square and red T, as we did, highlight the frame in the middle, insert, and create shape tween. Okay, we can add another one on frame number 48, two second mark. Let me insert another blank keyframe and I'm going to draw this time a yellow circle somewhere here. So I'm going to apply the shape twin between the red T and yellow circle. Highlight the frame in between and insert shape twin. So this is a shape twinning between the shape and the letter form. And the third, shape twinning between lines. So um, let me do this. Uh, no fill color. I'm going to choose my stroke color to bright red. And let me draw one straight line. And stroke weight. Um, five point is okay, but I'm going to make it a little bit lighter. Like three. Okay. Then select your line. Copy, Command C, and we're going to insert blank keyframe again on one second mark, and let me paste in place so I can have the same, exactly the same line on the same spot. On this one second mark, I'm going to make some changes. So in your toolbox, choose your pen tool. Once you keep pressing your pen tool, you're going to see the more tools. Choose the second one, the plus. Add anchor point tool. Let me add anchor point here, here, and here. Three more. Then change your tool from the add anchor point tool to convert anchor point tool, the last one. Then drag it like this and drag it, making kind of a wave. So I have a straight line and wave line. Same thing. Highlight the frame in between. Any frame is fine. Go to insert menu and shape twin. See? Now I can do some more. Let me select this. Oops. This whole line, whole wave line on frame number 24. Copy. And I'm going to choose Two second mark, frame number 48, and let me insert blank keyframe, and let me paste in place. What I'm going to do is, by using this free transform tool, I'm going to flip it, just like this. So between these two. Highlight any frame in between, insert shape twin watch if you want to go back to the straight line same thing 
highlight the frame one and select your straight line the original one copy this and on three second mark 72 insert timeline blank keyframe and edit in uh, paste in place now select the frame in between insert shape twin back to the original okay okay and the fourth uh, shape twinning between the colors uh, so first choose your rectangle tool set your field color to rainbow pattern the gradient and then oops and no fit no stroke color and draw a big rectangle like this okay now select your rainbow rectangle command c copy and highlight the one second mark insert timeline blank keyframe and on this new blank keyframe just paste in place so we have exactly the same pattern same gradient fill now let's do one more on frame number 48 two second mark insert another blank keyframe and edit paste in place so what we did is there are three different rectangle with the same rainbow pattern rainbow gradient so it looks the same but there are three different ones what i'm going to do is on one second mark meaning the second uh, rainbow rectangle the second one highlighted choose that in your little toolbar here choose the color now if you do not see this it is under windows and you can see the uh, color here either way is fine and then there are the information about this gradient from red to reddish pink what I'm gonna do is on this the um, uh, frame number 24 the second rainbow pattern I'm gonna just change the color the order I'm gonna just mix it together like that it's up to you any order is fine okay so now we can see that we can see the difference okay now highlight the frame in the middle somewhere in between 1 and 24 go to insert menu and create shape twin I'll do the same thing between 25 and 48 highlight the frame in between insert shape twin now let's take a look isn't it cool it's a shape twinning but in color okay it goes back to the original the rainbow pattern so in addition to this the fifth one the masking exactly the same way uh, as we did as another masking in motion twin so now I, I uh, create a new layer on top I'm gonna type some word rainbow color really doesn't matter uh, I'm going to break apart twice and then free transform tool I'm going to resize it by using this free transform tool so uh, maybe um, I don't need to keep the same proportion okay just like this it's a rainbow text the color really doesn't matter next thing is select the, your top layer where you have your rainbow text hold on the control key click and choose the mask that's it you can play it so your rainbow pattern the shape twinning is happening inside of the letter form isn't it cool 
Okay, so that's it for today. Okay, thanks for watching uh, and see you next time. Bye.